What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? When your box comes in and you must divulge the size of the retro gaming bulge, do you nerd to look right in the latest box from VGM? Hey, nerdlings, it's Jazz of Nerdy Blazing Cosplays, and you're watching Do You Nerd? All right, nerdlings, it's VGM time again, so let's do this one. Oh, no, we're not just going to dump it out. But, you know, I was thinking to open our latest retro gaming subscription box. Let's have a little fun, and let's see if we can tie some of these games to uh, a scary story, seeing as how it's it's Halloween time. This is a scary story that we know, or just make up a scary story? We'll see, we'll see. Okay. So, there you go. The scariest thing of all. Loud noises. Ah! 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 It's terrifying. Not overly affectionate. Speaking of scary things, the idea of forgetting to update your list and getting duplicates. So oh, that's really bad and you. scary. Fortunately, through all this horror, we have not one. A twofer. So that means uh, double trouble. Whereas we go for the three box, we got a couple extra games this time around. The little pack in bonus thing. Ooh, I love my koozies. Now, that's great because what's scary about drinks? Getting your hand all wet and sweaty. Because then you'll drop it. It's literally the fear that keeps me up every single night. Well, guess what? You don't have to worry anymore. <laughs> Ellen, there's moisture on the outside of my glass. It's condensation, Johnny. Condensation. Well, this is perfect. We have a Nintendo 64 game, Top Gear Overdrive. With a Dodge Viper on the front of it with teeth. See, this, th this is a grim and ghoulish tale. It's gotta be uh, Christine's little brother. Yes, exactly. Remember the Plymouth Fury that just murdered teens? This is the modern take on that. So again, you know, bringing in a Dodge Viper as the vehicle of choice. And with these teeth, <laughs> clearly it's wanting revenge for what happened to Christine. 100% absolutely guaranteed that is what this game is about. I'd play that game. We have a Game Boy Advance game and robots. Robots are freaking scary. Okay, now, ideally, this is probably based on the, uh, the Fox CG animated flick, but in a darker world that we're already living in. They're gonna put us in people zoos. There are malicious AI out there infesting our robotic automaton fellow. They get rid of that rule where they can't hurt humans. Right, right. Watch this, watch this, watch, ready, ready? Alexa, are you part of Skynet? There's a good chance you'll receive a black envelope in the mail one day in the near future. If you do, please don't open it. Fortunately, with the Game Boy Advance game, though, we can, you know, be playing the games off the grid, not connected to the internet whatsoever. Skynet won't. Don't get us. Okay, all right, so Super Battle Tank War in the Gulf. Well, it's already like on fire. Everything's on fire. Actually, hang on, hang on. You have a true terror tale that you can share on behalf of your father, a Vietnam veteran. Mm -hmm. He served with a fellow who was terrified of tigers. Yes, and... He was killed in Vietnam by a tiger. It attacked him in his tent, drug him out of the tent and into the jungle, and that's all they heard all night long. So imagine, imagine you're in a war, you're in the army, you're being shot at, and the thing that you're terrified of are tigers, and that, is that is you. the thing that gets you. <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrifying. <laughs> but the Super Battle Tank games, I don't believe, have any tigers. So you guys should be safe. Okay, another Game Boy Advance game. Rugrats Go Wild. Oh, well, 
children are hella scary anyway. I mean, the worst thing in the world in a horror movie to me is when little kids, you hear a disembodied giggle in horror movies. So, I already know. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Nope. Now, skewing it more specifically to Rugrats, though, have any of you ever heard of the dead Rugrats internet theory? Essentially, it's saying that all of them are dead and they're figments of Angelica's imagination. Oh. The only ones who are real are Susie, Kimmy, and Dill, though the theory claims that the mentally unstable Angelica never actually met them and she's responsible for beating and ultimately crippling Dill. Okay. So there you go. Rugrats. Terrifying. <laughs> Scary stuff indeed. Scary AF. Okay. Well, there is one more game, but... An empty box is always a terrible, terrifying Is that the scariest thing. of all? No. The most terrifying game of all is Old School with Atari 2600, and we have China Syndrome. Oh, there's a lot of things that could get us in trouble with that. A.K.A. <laughs> COVID-19, I think? That's not fair. That's That's probably. Or is it? Um, oh, and I just touched my face. Oh. But don't worry, because fortunately, the cartridge does say SpectraVision, so you'll be able to see whether or not your cartridge is a carrier or not. I don't know. It's looking pretty bad. That is looking bad. Well. <laughs> <laughs> we had a little bit of fun with this one. Obviously, we enjoy getting some uh, fun retro games because many times the things that we don't already have in our collection are new to us. Things that we might have passed over yeah. or things that we forgot. Back in the 90s, I know that uh, some of these like battle tank games and everything, they were the rage. Yeah. So it's kind of a fun way to revisit some of those. But then also the properties because sometimes licensed games offer some good gameplay experiences. Another fun thing about that I think about VGM is sometimes... It's a game that you would otherwise pass up if you were buying games out in the real world because you're like, oh, that doesn't seem like fun or I don't think that'd be my uh, my cup of tea. But here you get it and you plug it in and play it and you're like, hey, actually, that's kind of fun. Exactly. Exactly. What a perfect way to kind of, uh, you know, soft force you to yeah. try one of these games because, hey, you've got it. You might as well try it. Might as well. <laughs> so, all right. Well, leave some comments down below on if you've played any of these games, guys, and especially if you have any spooky stories about them. The car with <laughs> tea. <laughs> the, the evil robots that are going to take us all over so, so soon. The Rugrats frightening internet theories, getting carried away by tigers, or do you have to pack up your China Syndrome game because you really just don't want to mask up anymore because, I mean, you did all that work on your lips and you don't want to hide that, right? Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Spooky ghost face! Okay, ready? No. Got a little dizzy. Okay. You got stuff on you. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, scared me. <laughs>